friend Kimmy has CRPS, and so does Joey, it's quite a mess. There's Molly with her lupus too, it's so much worse than any flu. Amber has ulcerative colitis, and Mary's got interstitial cystitis, fibromyalgia for poor Julie, and cluster headaches for yours truly. So many chronic conditions pain, opioids can relieve, but on that subject, the DEA just refuses to agree. It's the DEA, they know what's best for you, no doubt. As much as you might scream and shout, they just don't listen anyway. The DEA must get their expertise from Reddit. Who the hell would give them credit for anything they have to say? There's syringomyelia and myelomalacia for when your spine's up to no good. And then there's stiff person syndrome, yes, where you think your limbs are made of wood. Pulmonary fibrosis attacks your lungs, so breathing's not an easy thing. Crohn's disease inflames your bowels with all the pain that, that can bring. Peripheral neuropathy feels like you're always walking on Legos. Trigeminal neuralgia feels like someone cut your face open with stilettos. So many kinds of chronic pain are helped by taking opioids. But you tell that to the DEA and they just get really annoyed. It's the DEA. They know what's best for you, no doubt. As much as you might scream and shout, they just don't listen anyway. The DEA must get their expertise from Reddit. Who the hell would give them credit for anything they have to say? The DEA, they treat your pain like it don't matter. They really wish we cut the chatter and quietly just fade away. The DEA, they know so much more than Doctor, no matter how you scream and holler, they want to take your meds away. The CDC says that more than 23,000 people die every year because of bacterial infections that are resistant to all of our antibiotics. That's a lot more than supposedly overdose on opioids every year, and potentially much more deadly, like Spanish flu deadly if we don't stop prescribing antibiotics like Skittles. But no, instead of addressing that, let's focus our attention on restricting access to the very pain medication that gives chronically ill people enough hope to decide to live one more day. Yeah, that's a great idea. Idiots. It's the DEA. They know what's best for you, no doubt As much as you might scream and shout They just don't listen anyway The DEA must get their expertise from Reddit Who the hell would 